Hello, my name is Tomiwa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I got um, a ton of stuff from Zara. I got tops, I got pants, I got skirts, I got sweaters. So we're going to go through these items together and you're going to help me decide which of the items to keep and which to return, if any. Yeah? <laughs> For this try on haul, I'm going to be trying on the pieces two or three different ways just to give you guys an idea of how to style them, right? This look, I'm wearing this satin top with this brown barrel jeans, sorry, brown leather pants that I got from Aritzia. If it's still on the site, I will link it up in the description below. I have also linked the top in the description below. And to finish up the look, I'm wearing this thong slippers I got in this haul. So this is one way you can rock the thong slippers. And I'm carrying this brown purse that I got from this Nigerian brand called Aura Lagos. Right? So this is the first look that I'm showing you how to wear this cow neck satin top. I'm going to change into one or two more um, looks and show you some other ways you can rock it. With this look, I'm killing two birds with one stone. So this is the second way that I'm showing you how to rock this cow neck top. And for this look, I have kind of dressed it up a little bit more. I have paired it with this um, champagne satin skirt that I got from Zara last year. The tones and the shades are almost the same thing. For a second, I thought they were the same shade. I was so excited, but it turns out that I think the skirt is a bit lighter. But because I didn't want to, I wanted to de-emphasize that I'm, you know, styling it with this belt that I got in this haul as well. And I'm showing you one of the ways that you can rock this belt as well, right? I'm also, actually, this isn't just two birds with one stone, it's three birds with one stone because I'm also showing you this um, pair of moves that I got from this haul and I'm essentially pairing three elements from this haul together and showing you how you can wear them. This look, for me, I'll take this to a wedding, I'll take this to a cocktail dinner, I'll take this to anything that requires me to show up looking very elegant because this is definitely an elegant look to tie into the, you know, black um elements that i have going on i've carried this gucci black purse and i have just added gold accessories to tie in with the gold accent on the belt and pick up on the earrings and i think it is such a glamorous look this third way that i'm showing you how to wear this cow neck top i have paired it with this cream jeans that i got on sale from this haul is such a steal because i love the feet of the jeans they're like they fit true to size i got a us4 which is my standard size and it fits high waist covering my navel as you can see i want to you know let out the top for this look because i just think that it's more elegant that way this champagne paired with the cream is definitely giving quiet luxury which i like i have kept my gold accents going on because i think it goes very much with the color skin and on my feet i'm wearing the stock slippers that i got from this haul and I'm carrying this brown purse from Aura Lagos and I think it's just such a cohesive look. I'll take this to drinks, I'll take this for date night, i wear this on a vacation in Europe and um, take this to a daytime event. You know, it is such a, such an <laughs> understated look, right? Now let me show you some other ways that you can wear these pants. Now this is the second way I'm showing you how to wear this cream pants. And this for me is very daytime. The first time I showed you how to wear it nighttime, now I'm showing you how to take this daytime. So we're taking this for brunch, we're taking this shopping, we're taking this for any casual events that we need to attend. You don't want to do too much, you just want to grab a quick breakfast, grab a quick brunch, something daytime, shopping, going to the bookstore, um, just any daytime look that you want to look casual but a little bit elevated this is your go-to this powder blue goes perfectly well with this cream a little too well <laughs> if you ask me and these brown accents i'm telling you this thong slippers is literally the, the still in the show of this haul because it's going with pretty much almost everything right i'm tying the purse to the shoes i typically like to do that i mean not always but once in a while i like to or more often than not actually i like to tie my purse to my shoes so i'm keeping brown on purse and shoes and i have just tied the brown up with this pair of sunglasses i got from zara a long time ago um and this is the second look right now let me show you the third and probably final look that i will style or final way that i will style 
these cream pans. Now for the final way that I'm styling these cream pans, I have worn it with this cream blouse that I also got in this haul. And I, I mean, nothing, there's nothing like monotone. If you follow me on my WhatsApp, on my Instagram, WhatsApp Tamiwa, you tell that I'm a monochrome girl true and true. I love nothing more than when, you know, identical shades or complementary shades together. And this is such a delight. It is really, really elegant, really, really grown and sexy. You know, it's um, also kind of giving me quiet luxury. And trust me, I'm not one for trends, but accidentally <laughs> or incidentally, cream is big on the color scheme of quiet luxury. So it is what it is, right? I don't make the rules. I'll take this for dinner. I'll take this to brunch. I'll take this for drinks. You know, it's one of those looks that can pretty much enter anywhere and you'd definitely be getting loads of compliments. Now that I've shown you one way that you can style this blouse with this cream pants, let me show you some other ways you can style this blouse. I'm one of those, if it ain't broke, don't fix it girls. So I'm keeping the shoes and purse. And with this second way that I'm styling this cream top, I'm wearing it with this mini denim skirt. And that's because like the top, because of the applique and the cow neck, it tends to look like quite serious. So I'm looking for a way to, you know, make it super, super casual. And there's nothing as casual as a denim mini skirt, right? I got this one from Zara a long time ago. Might still be on sale. If it isn't, I'll look for something similar and link it in the comments per usual. Of course, the top, not comments, rather in the description per usual. Of course, the top will also be linked in the description as well. Um, this for me is how I would take this top daytime because as I said, the top can tend to look a bit serious and can tend to be more of an evening top because of how elegant it is. But pair with a mini skirt like this and you can definitely take it for daytime. Now in this final way that I'm showing you how to style this cream top, I've gone the super elegant way, right? And I have done, I've paired it with this white or would I say off-white skirt that I got on sale in this haul as well and i just think it is so elegant paired together you know i wanted to keep the whole all white theme going on or all cream theme going on so my feet i'm wearing these malonsolia kidding heels um pumps and i'm carrying this bottega cream purse as well and i just feel like this is so tasteful you definitely look really sophisticated and elegant with this one um this is another one that is giving quite luxury if you ask me um i'll take this for an event so i have a brand event i have anything that requires me to wear all white i'll take this to it i'll take this for drinks i'll take this for dinner i'll take this for date night now let me show you some other ways that you can rock this skirt that i got in this haul i wanted to dress down this very elegant skirt and to do that, I have worn this oversized boyfriend shirt that I got from Collision a long time ago. I got it on ASOS. Um, but yeah, I have paired the boyfriend shirt with this mini elegant feminine skirt because I feel like the, the contrast of the masculine and feminine vibe really balance themselves out very nicely. Because I want to take this look out casually, I have worn red flats and I have kept only that one element of red in this look. This is super casual. I'll take it anywhere I need to go daytime. I'll take it for brunch, take it for breakfast, take it um, to the bookstore. Where else do you go? To the art gallery. Just wherever you go during the summer, during spring that is casual, this is a go-to look. Speaking of this look, um, I've worn black Kidding Hill pointed Madden Solia slippers. Did I say black? Oh my goodness, <laughs> what is happening to my sense of color? Um, I meant white, sorry. White Kidding Hill Madden Solia pumps with the white skirt because I think that when you pair your bottoms with your shoes with your bottoms, it always is a hit, right? And I've also paired it with this white Bottega purse. I feel like all the white just picks up on the what you will call it on the <laughs> white on the jersey and it just gives it like a really really nice look i mean it's not every time that you wear trainers to a game or you can wear kidding heels right i'll definitely take this look to, to a game i'll also take this look to brunch to be honest i'll take this look from day to night it's one of those really like 
looks that you can take from day to night. After all these ways I've shown you how to rock it, will you rock it? Let me know in the comments, okay? Before we jump right into the next item. So now the thing is, I'm a creative, so I do not shy away from styling outfits the creative way because that's probably like, <laughs> when I say an outfit, I already think of like three or four different ways to style it and one or two of them is definitely or is most times edgy or creative or not the conventional way, right? And when I saw this jersey, immediately I thought denim shorts, <laughs> right? And I hadn't even put it together, but I just knew it was going to work. And when I tried it with the shorts, I kept on thinking what footwear to wear. I mean, obvious footwear might have been flats or trainers or something or sneakers thereabouts but something said how about you know knee-high boots and I'm like okay let's see how that looks turns out I love it you know it looks super it looks very different this is definitely creative and edgy and non-conventional getting shorts for me is just daytime and like pairing it with this um, jersey just adds to the casualness of it but then I took it up a notch with the boots the boots are from where are the boots from mango i believe if the link if it's still on site i'll link it below the shorts are old zara but i'm sure there's so many similar things on zara now so i'll link some options bag is gucci um top you all know now <laughs> it's from zara from this haul and i mean i love this this way that i have styled it probably might be one of my favorite ways that i have styled this top um i'm thinking where would i take this to i'll take this to an ad gallery i'll take this to a creative event say um a brand is doing an event i'll take it to a brand event i'll take this for lunch for brunch you know and I, I love it <laughs> i'll take this to how i mentioned ad gallery a plain like Anywhere me and my um, artsy or creatives are linking up, I take this look there. So if you follow my page, What's Up Tommy Wa on Instagram, you'd see that I be soccer for like oversized baggy jeans. I've had this one from H&M for like a few months, have never <laughs> worn them, but um, I thought to try it with this jersey top because I mean, we're styling the jersey top, right? absolutely love how it turned out this is definitely a tomboy boyfriend look and i mean there's a part of me that you know is that you know that video where that was trending on socials like tiktok and instagram where it's like sometimes i want to dress like this and i want to dress like this and like this and on tuesdays mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah that's me right like you can never pin me down for something you can never say oh you know what she's an edgy girl or oh you know what she's a feminine girl or oh you know what she's a classic girl because depending on my mood or the time of day <laughs> or what i have ironed <laughs> or not you know i can be any of those things right i'm wearing this yellow manolo blanix i can't believe that i couldn't remember that for a second yeah and i kind of really like i mean these are like very feminine shoes with the brooch on it i kind of like that it just complements or would i say contradicts the masculineness <laughs> of this outfit but it goes really well because the yellow pairs really nicely together it's like literally almost the same shade of like electric yellow yum and I'm in the mood to color coordinate today, so I have carried this green purse that I think ties in very well with this green on this jersey. And this look is like so cool. Like I feel so relaxed. Nothing is tied against my skin. I'm just like, you know, <laughs> it's almost like I'm not wearing anything. Love this look. Remember that I wanted to try this top, this bubble top as a skirt. Like immediately I got it, I was like, I like this bubble top but i also want a bubble mini white skirt and i was like instead of buying a mini skirt let me just you know see if i can rock this top as a skirt and i'm happy to announce to you guys that yes it does work i did it joe mm -hmm. <laughs> and what brought this look to be honest is this picture of hayley bieber that i saw on the internet i stumbled on it and i was like Oosh, i just really loved it it was very effortless you know and i'm like I think I have everything to recreate this look, right? So this is my interpretation of this look. How did I do? I've won the bubble top come skirt <laughs> with this jersey um, 
top that I got from the men's section in the Zara haul and I have worn it with this what do you call these shoes again? Loafers. Mm -hmm. I got the loafers from H&M. If they're still on the side, I will link them in the description. White socks to match the white skirts. The white on the skirt picks up with all the white details on the top. Everything is just really cute. Love it. <laughs> and then um, I have slung this Gucci purse across me. All the gold accessories are tying themselves together. And this look will take me, you know, to my kids into house sports. I mean, they'll be confused whether I'm the mother or the kid. <laughs> the look would also take me to the game. I'm going to the game with my boo. Yep. Um, this look will take me to the fair, any daytime events, shopping fair, festival, things like that. Sign me up. Love, love, love this edgy look. I want to know, would you try it or it's a bit risky for you? Let me know in the comments. I know initially I was like, why did I get this top again? But yeah, now I see why. Love, love, love. I'm a monochrome girl. I love monochrome. <laughs> so I really love how this came out or how this looks. Um, these jeans are from Amazon. I mean, there's a story behind it, but today is not about the jeans. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really love it. Um, paired it for a white and white touch with this bubble top from Zara that I got in this haul. Um, carried white. Bottega purse to just, you know, tying that together. And I just thought like a pop of color was really necessary, right? And so I'm wearing this Manolo Blenix that I really, really love, you know? Like, it just elevates the look. It just, you know, does something to this look. This is definitely date night look. It's an evening look for me or, or, a daytime event look so if you tell me to come for an event that is all white i'm gonna show up like this <laughs> thank you very much yeah so this is daytime or drinks or dinner or event you know sign me up i'm gonna show up <laughs> so i wanted to balance out this bubble top with something that was a little bit more form fitting because you know the top has a bit of a volume right and i just thought since the last time i wore something that had volume at the bottom as well. I thought to do something contrasting this time and wear it with something that was a bit more form fitting at the bottom. I'm not a fan of skinny jeans. <laughs> um, I mean, it's not with something like this, certainly. But yeah, this just works. I mean, this is very effortless. Pair of jeans, you know, love that I have tied on the silver jewelry and all the silver details I have going on with this pointed silver um, Kitty Hill sling bags from ASOS. I mean, I'll put the link on the description. In the description, I've also carried this silver Salvato Ferragamo um, purse. And I mean, this look is just really elegant, effortless. I'd also take this to an event. So say maybe you invite me to a baby shower, for instance, or you invite me to a birthday party, or, you, or I'll take this for drinks i take this for date night i could take it to where else are uh, any like anywhere you name it i'll leave you guys to tell me in the comments where else you wear this look to because it is a hit as a creative this just you know makes my heart leap something about the double bubble is doing it for me also the monochrome contrast of black and white is a win I mean, I almost introduced another color into this look, say like the red, but then I thought that, you know what? I like to really, really keep it going on. I like for this to be the, the drama. <laughs> like, I don't like for any other thing to interfere with it. You know, it's not, it's not, I mean, I personally don't think it's good for there to be too many statements in what you're wearing, but that's a personal preference. If you're a statement girl, by all means, wear statement from up to down. But for me, I just like, one item to be the focal point that people are talking about and that would be this bubble on bubble with the contrast right i have paired this nicely with these amina muadi gilda sandals carrying this ferragamo purse that i think ties very nicely with the metallic that is going on in there one silver jewelry and this is such a fantastic look you know take i'm taking this 
I mean, it's my birthday or it's a special event, it's an anniversary, it's something that is special to me. I'll definitely step out looking like this because I'm here to steal the show. It's my show <laughs> and I'm the drama, right? Um, I'd also rock this for, I could rock this for a, a destination wedding. So say there's a destination wedding and there's a series of events, right? Maybe the cocktail night or one of those things. I'd rock this to, to that. I'd rock this to a brand event, a, a whatchamacallit, a red carpet event, anything that needs me to drink the glitz and drama, I'd rock this to it. Now, I remember earlier I told you that I saw my sister wear a bubble skirt with a Marie Sarah top. This is the look that I saw her um, style and I absolutely loved it. You know, so I got myself the top, <laughs> or rather she got me the top actually. My sister got me this top for my birthday and I got myself, you know, this bubble skirt to complete the look and it is such a hit. <laughs> like, I cannot wait to wear this out to the next, you know, night or evening event. Anything is, so invite me to like an all black event. This is how I'm showing off, you know, love, love, love <laughs> this look. Um, I have worn it with this Amna Marie Sandals. It's black with a silver diamond. It just adds the pop. Of you know shimmer that I need just definitely a nighttime look or evening look tidy with this shimmery Ferragamo purse I've worn like a silver bracelet over the sleeve of this top love the details on the sleeve by the way and um, what else silver accessories of course to tie all that together but like invite me for something all black I need somebody to do that right now because I need to rock this out <laughs> you know maybe like a special event maybe hobby's birthday my birthday you know, something night out, love, love, love it. Now this look is such a cute look. I paired this silver shimmery top that I absolutely love because it's a bit loose, I've, you know, tidy at the back. I paired it with this bubble skirt and I just feel like it looks so, so chic. I've worn it with this Amnamori sandals and Ferragamo purse and just kept all my silver accessories going on and everything just you know ties in perfectly together this is definitely a night look right i'm going for drinks i'm going i mean if you're a clubbing girl <laughs> if you're going to a club this you could wear this um i'm going for date night dinner anything i'm going for someone's birthday give me a silver themed event i would come you know looking like this at night time love it Listen, there's nothing that goes with silver quite like gray. There's something about that monochrome, you know, head to tone, gray silver, you know, tone that is absolutely fantastic. Love how I paired this silver shimmery top from this haul with this gray pants that I got from H&M a while ago. Um, I've worn silver shoes from ASOS and have tied it in with this um, Ferragamo purse that I've slung across my shoulders kept all my silver accessories on and it's just such a chic fantastic look i'll take this for any event that requires silver any nighttime event any brand event you know this is dressy but super casual as well it's like you didn't make any efforts but you definitely stand out now for the final way that i thought to wear this metallic top i had the bright idea when i was changing out of you know the last outfit i turned it over and i saw that it was cream you know the wrong side of the top was cream and i thought hmm that's actually quite nice i love the fact that the metallic you know trims and pipings are showing around the neck and the sleeves and i thought okay all i need to do is i need to cut the labels off and i can wear this as an inside out top and it would totally work i tried it on with this pleated skirt and i mean i think it's a dream but you tell me what you think about the look in the comments I love how it turns out. Um, I love that I can take this for daytime without looking too loud. Cause sometimes when you wear metallics during the day, it looks a bit loud as metallic is typically more suited for nighttime. But this way I can wear it during the day without looking outlandish. And I just think it's such a cute look. I have worn it with this pleated skirt that I got in this haul. I got the pleated skirt in a medium i also got the top in a medium by the way so i mean i definitely wish it was tighter <laughs> you know i should have gotten a small but i didn't see a small on the side i only saw a medium so 
we're making it work right now the skirt i got in a medium right so either medium or us i think it's medium let's go in a medium and as you can see as opposed to it being high waist if i put it high waist it's quite loose right but if i pull it down right about here which is what i call this mid waist or low waist it works perfectly and i don't mind to be honest because this way the skirt isn't as short this way i get like a length that i'm comfortable with and it really really works okay i need to cut this here <laughs> but the prep for the purpose of this video we're going to pretend like we didn't see that anyways i have won this mary jane's from this haul as well love 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 them they're super comfortable i got my size in a 39 which is us 8 highly recommend and i have i'm carrying this black purse from aura lagos to tie the blacks together i think it's just a fun fun look let me know what you think about it in the comments would you rock a top inside out like this let me know now this is the second way that i will rock this pleated skirt i absolutely love it paired with this gray sweater and i wanted to infuse some colors right so i added this maroon slash burgundy um tights that is a big hit with my pinterest girlies and i to tie on that maroon i have carried this maroon purse as well from the brand over lagos and then on my feet i'm wearing this black Mary jeans from this haul and to tie that black i'm carrying or i have thrown this aritzia coat over my shoulders and i just love how cohesive you know the looks are i mean all the elements or all the colors are in pairs and i think it works so nicely per usual i'll link everything in the description below okay now let's try the skirt one more way and we'll go on to the next item now for the final way that i'm showing you how to rock this pleated skirt i have introduced this patchwork cardigan that i got in this haul as well and i think i love both of them together the patchwork cardigan has a couple of colors and it has gray you know lining the neckline and you know the edge of the hem of the <laughs> of the cardigan and the sleeves as well and some little gray here and there within the body of the top and i think it ties really really nicely with this skirt it's definitely giving school girl but i love it <laughs> i'll take this daytime as well this is perfect for spring i mean you're cozy but you still look super super chic take this for brunch take this for any daytime event if you ask me and just because i wanted to add a pop of color to the look i didn't want it to look too boring i have worn red uh, mary jane's from this haul as well this mary jane's i got them in a 40 instead of a 39 because that was the only size i saw online so they're a bit loose but I mean, I'm going to try and exchange it in store. And if they don't have the size, I'm just going to make it work, right? Because I really like them. And I have tied on the red on the shoes with this red Balenciaga purse. And I think it is such a look. Let me know what you think about this particular look in the comments here. Yeah? While I show you some other ways that I will style this cardigan. For this second way, I'm showing you how to style this patchwork cardigan. I'm wearing it with this cream you know jeans that i had shown you earlier from this haul but i'm bringing it back because i feel like the cream on the cardigan picks up on the cream on the jeans and it just goes so nicely super super casual i'm wearing brown kidding heels right because the patchwork cardigan has some brown on it so i want to pick up on that as well i'm carrying the brown purse to tie it together and this is one of my go-to or this will be one of my go-to spring looks now for the final way that i'm showing you how to rock this patchwork cat again i'm wearing it with this high-waisted or are these mid-waist maybe they're mid-waist actually ton of um jeans that i got in this haul on sale i got it from zara as well i think that it just looks super super cool this uh, takes like if i was in school or something this would definitely be a school look Bear in mind, you can wear like a t-shirt underneath it, but I'm too lazy to pull anything over my head, but I'll definitely wear it with a t-shirt or a tank top underneath it and maybe tuck in or maybe unbutton and just leave it open. I'll leave it up to you to decide, but this is such a casual look. Another daytime look, you know, I can take this shopping, I can take this um, anywhere that I need to go daytime. I can take this to brunch, I can take this. Where else do people go daytime? Where are these places eluding me? But you get what I mean. Any of those daytime, relaxed, casual. I can take this visiting. This will be a perfect visiting outfit, you know. Um, for a proper color, I have worn the red Mary Janes I got in this haul as well. And I have tied on that red with this Balenciaga purse like I like to do. 
and this is the finished look let me know what you think about this look in the comments here while i show you some other ways to style this ton of jeans there's nothing that i love more than wearing like you know different shades of a color skin and this time i love that i have paired this powder blue shirt for my little eye of a woman you can check us out on instagram in case you're interested in this shirt um i love that i paired the powder blue with this dark indigo wash of these jeans right i really love these jeans because i don't own any jeans that are these dark these are like super super over dark and i feel like they're like a wardrobe must have every wardrobe should have like a really pair of dark jeans <laughs> a really dark pair of jeans sorry i'm taking this from day to the evening so i have one like these keating heel thong slippers that i got on this haul these tongue slippers they're going to see shaggy in my hand <laughs> right and i have tied the slippers with this brown purse as well and this brown sunglasses i'm going to style this jeans with one more top and we'll call it a day with the jeans yeah the final way that i would rock this indigo ton of jeans is with this off shoulder white t-shirt that i got on sale in this haul absolutely love 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 the look there's nothing like white and indigo it's just like you don't even need to do too much you can wear the most basic thing but the colors will just pop and you throw in a red there you're good to go right um i can decide to wear these jeans as ton up like this or what i really like about the jeans is that it's not locked the ton up is not locked so you can pull it down right and i can choose to pull it down like so like that right maybe even tuck this in just to give me like a high waist effect this better look good because i haven't tried this in the mirror before right so let's see right and i could definitely take this out this will take me from day to night for sure i have worn the black pointed pumps from this haul as well and i just love the vibe that i'm getting with this look and i can definitely rock it like this the ton of cool down you know tuck in the white um off shoulder top and it's definitely given a bit more elevated than the ton up was given this i'll take for like nighttime or evening drinks things like that i mean that look you can see how easily you can go from day to night right because the, with the ton up was given more casual but this is given more you know dressy so um this is definitely a look the red definitely pops in this outfit um let me show you guys some other ways that i would wear this off shoulder t-shirt i got in this haul yeah i'm gonna tell you guys something when i saw this off shoulder t-shirt on the zara site right the first thing that came to mind to pair it with was this denim skirt that i had at home because i already knew that it was just gonna be a hit and now that i'm trying it on for the first time it is everything that i imagined it would be and more i mean there's just maybe because the jeans are like a light wash it just goes really well with this um off shoulder white um t-shirt to tie in the look or to just elevate the look a little bit i have done some brown elements here and there i'm wearing this thong slippers you guys already know that this is one of my favorite items in this whole yes and i have tied the slippers to the brown belt this belt the story of this belt is so funny i got it from costco it was used to bind a throw blanket together and i cut it from the blanket because i'm like yo this cannot be <laughs> this cannot go to waste right and has served me diligently ever since right and i have just carried this lv never full purse because i think that it just goes really nicely this is for me definitely a daytime look this is brunch this is breakfast this is the scream summer this is vacay right i'll wear rock this for vacay and it looks so cool with a brown pair of sunglasses where are my brown sunglasses <laughs> i don't know where my brown sunglasses are right now but just imagine it with it yeah you can see it too right um let me share one more way to wear this off shoulder t-shirt and we'll call it the day for the t-shirt now in this final way that i'm showing you how to wear this off shoulder t-shirt i'm wearing it with this high-waisted i mean it's supposed to be high-waisted <laughs> tailored masculine pants that i got on sale in this haul and um i got these pants in a medium right as opposed to a small they run big that's why it's not my perfect size you know um, but i don't mind so much because i really do love it and i love that it has like buttons i hope you can see this clearly but you can see it has two buttons so you put it on whatever 
and you can use to control the waist right which i think is really really cool um the pants are also very tall girl friendly so hey i'm a five seven and i'm wearing like what four or five inch louboutin heels and the pants are still on the floor so that's definitely a hit for me this look because i wear really high heels i mean <laughs> lord knows i'm not wearing really high heels during the day so this for me is evening so drinks dinner any you know evening events that i want to look like i didn't put any effort at all but i still look you know very chic this is what i'll show in um i have tied this brown purse to the brown you know tones on the shoes and i think it goes really nicely now let me show you uh, two more ways how to style this pants and we'll call it a date for this haul so with this way that i have styled this tailored pants i'm trying to take it for daytime because i like to get you know all the wear that i can out of my outfits i love for my outfits to give range so i don't like to only be limited to wear it for nighttime just because it's long we're going to find a way to wear it for daytime right and this is a perfect way to style it for daytime i have worn this gray t-shirt paired it with this black pants and i just it's such a relaxed look um i have worn trainers on my feet and carry this red purse this is perfect for visiting perfect for errands perfect for you know breakfast coffee date perfect for anything casual light you want to pick up the kids from school this is a perfect look to rock just because i didn't want it to be boring i am rocking it with trainers these trainers have like accents of red they are the nike sakai's and i have tied the red on the trainers to the red on this balenciaga purse and i think that it just adds the pop of color that the look needs now let me show you one final way to wear this pants in this final way that i'm styling this tailored pants i'm embracing the low waist of it i got it in a medium as i said earlier which is like one size bigger and so because of that it kind of runs loose on the waist and i quite love the vibe that it's given paired with this red off shoulder top from my little ayaba woman you should really check us out on instagram we have some really cool stuff i love the red that i had going on in the last look and i thought why not embrace it fully in this look right i think that this is such a sophisticated look on my feet i'm wearing the black pointed moles from this haul and on my waist i'm also wearing this black belt with gold accents from this haul as well this belt is just i mean lights up this outfit i think it steals the show of the outfit it just takes it from like just there to super elegant which i love and you know that gold is picking up on my gold accessorizing and this gold on this gucci purse the whole look for me is a plus very grown and sexy i'll take this for a brand event i'll take this for dinner i'll take this for a cocktail event any event that you know requires me to show up looking elegant and sophisticated i definitely rock this